nearly every day, I make a point to have these three convenient healthy foods in my diet to make me healthy. Welcome back, Dr. Milo Wolf here today with Wolf Coaching, PhD in Sports Science, and we're discussing three underrated foods that I consume nearly daily to improve my health. They're highly convenient and they're something that you should be able to incorporate within your diet to improve your overall health. First, what makes a food healthy? Well, it's actually a combination of the following things. First off, it's important to note that no food is perfectly healthy or perfectly unhealthy. It's not a dichotomous state. Rather, it's on a continuum. What dictates where a food or a meal falls on a continuum is based on the following. First, having more fiber within your diet is going to improve your health outcomes. So, all else being equal, a higher fiber content is going to make a meal healthier. Secondly, and this is mostly relevant for weight loss and maintaining weight loss and just staying at a healthy weight, a food having a low calorie density or a low energy density generally will make it so that you eat or consume fewer calories. This makes it easier to get satiated and to not regain any fat that you might have lost or to not gain fat in the first place. And so with a good fiber content and a low calorie density, a food is a lot more healthy already. The third component is a really practical one. If it counts as one of your five a day, that's a really good sign. Usually, one of your five a day means that it contains a lot of vitamins, a lot of minerals, a lot of phytonutrients, a lot of antioxidants, all things that will likely improve your health overall. Importantly, foods that count as part of your five a day guideline are also usually foods with low calorie density and that are high in fiber. That said, when you're considering what foods to add into your diet to become healthier, keep in mind that variety is important. You don't just want to have the same type of fruit over and over again and expect that that's going to optimize your health. Some variety in your intake is going to be likely beneficial. Different fruits and different vegetables and different legumes and beans and pulses will all offer slightly different nutrients. And to get a variety of nutrients to cover all your bases, a variety of fruits, vegetables, etc., is beneficial. With that being said, part of the reason why a lot of people are under consuming fruits and vegetables for their health is that there's a barrier both in terms of time taken to prepare and in terms of money. Indeed, nowadays, fruits and vegetables can be relatively expensive depending on what you get. And so, both time and money-wise, I'll be picking foods that I think are really beneficial. They usually won't cost a lot of money and they're usually pretty convenient. Without further ado, here are the three healthy food hacks I I do pretty much every day as a means to improve my health. First, I try to have a salad at least once a day, and to do that, I prepare a specific vinaigrette. Let's face it, during most of your diets, your salads are probably quite boring and not that enjoyable. And the reason for that is, as compared to a salad in a restaurant, is that oftentimes in a restaurant, you get either a mayonnaise-based dressing or the salad is actually dressed with a vinaigrette. In this case, we'll be taking advantage of a vinaigrette as a means to make salad consumption actually enjoyable. Because here's the truth, salads are actually a great way to get a variety of fruits and vegetables and nuts at the same time. Here's a recipe I love to use from the Food Lab by J. Kenji lopez Ott. The reason I love this vinaigrette is, one, it's extremely tasty, but secondly, all of the elements within this vinaigrette should last for a really long time in the fridge. I'm talking a month at least. And so, because I'm quite lazy, and convenience is absolutely a thing, I prepare this like once a month and then just use it every evening as I need to. Here's the basic recipe that I usually scale up by about four times so that I can get a whole liter roughly of vinaigrette at once. To make a cup of this vinaigrette, you'll need three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, four teaspoons of Dijon mustard, one small shallot diced finely, grated or ground in a mortar and pestle, alongside one medium clove of garlic, also diced, grated or ground in a mortar and pestle, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, half a cup of vegetable or canola oil that you could replace for more extra virgin olive oil if you want to, it is slightly healthier, and finally, salt and pepper to taste, while keeping in mind that this will be used to season a lot of food, so over salt it. Once you've made this vinaigrette, just stir it aggressively, for example, if you put it in a Tupperware container like I do, just shake it up like you would a protein shake. It'll form an emulsion and it will be tasty and assembled. From there, you can assemble really any salad you want, but let me give you what I usually do. First, I start with some sort of rocket-based salad. Any salad will do, but I like rocket, it goes well with this vinaigrette, and dark leafy vegetables are a great choice for health. And then as far as additional elements, you can really go wild here. It's totally down to you, but here's what I add. I usually add some sort of dried fruit, sultanas are my favorite. I also add some pickled red onions that I make using a solution of half water, half vinegar, some salt, and some artificial sweetener. I also then add some sort of nut, I like salted peanuts. And finally, for an additional serving of health, I add chickpeas. Add some vinaigrette, depending on how big your salad is, a tablespoon, maybe a 
decent place to start. Toss it all together and season to taste. Voila, enjoy. Altogether, this salad gets you a lot of your five a day. It gets you one to two servings of vegetables based on just a salad, another serving of fruit based on the dried fruit, potentially another serving of vegetables based on the pickled onions, and finally, an additional serving of beans and pulses depending on what you add. So altogether, we're talking about three to five servings of your five a day ready in just about three minutes from start of assembly to end of assembly. And the only work that was really required is making that vinaigrette about once a month. Importantly, don't see this as what you need to eat. If you don't like certain ingredients of the salad, feel free to substitute. I want you to make this your own salad that you can enjoy day in, day out. For example, if you want more flavor, not necessarily for health here, you could consider adding anchovies or a crumbly cheese like feta, for example. It's totally down to you. So salads are a huge health hack that I literally use basically every single day. The next big health hack that I use in my own diet are smoothies. Now let's address the upfront cost. You need a blender to make a smoothie. However, you can get these for $30 or so, so it's not a huge upfront cost and it will save you a lot of time and provide you with many meals in the future. Once you have it, you can have two to three servings of fruit in a flash. I'm talking in less than two minutes. My favorite super simple approach, most evenings I will throw around 250 grams or about half a pound of smoothie fruit, aka frozen berries and bananas, into a blender, add some water, add some artificial sweetener to make it sweeter, and finally, add some creatine monohydrate. It's a really convenient way of getting creatine in as well. And before you count for me, no artificial sweeteners do not cause health issues. In fact, compared to just adding more sugar to your food, it'll probably make you healthier. Additionally, by keeping the amount of water that you add to this smoothie relatively low, it'll have this kind of very cold, nearly frozen sorbet-like texture that does two things. One, it's delicious, and two, it slows down the rate at which you can consume it. And as it turns out, eating more slowly actually makes you more satiated. That's right, for the same food, it will make you fuller. So not only are you getting a ton of vitamins and nutrients, you're also getting a decent hunger blunting effect. That being said, if you don't like bananas and berries as a combination, there are a lot of other fruit mixes out there that are available frozen, very cheap and very tasty. For example, a tropical fruit mix could be used for this instead. Again, I want you to see this as a concept and not as a prescriptive approach to smoothie making. In fact, if you really want to experiment, you could even make your own smoothie mix. Pick your own fruits and just throw them in a blender, add some sweetener, add some water and enjoy. And so in just about two minutes, you can have three of your five a day in terms of fruit servings in your diet. Depending on the fruits you pick, it can also be very cost effective. And finally, the third hack is even better if you really don't trust yourself as far as cooking goes. If making a vinaigrette is too challenging for you, don't worry, this is still pretty helpful. And that is to buy ready-made vegetables and fruits. There are actually a deceivingly large amount of vegetables, fruits, beans, lentils, pulses, nuts, that you can buy and consume very easily for relatively cheap. The most exotic and pricey one that comes to mind is kimchi. You buy it, you eat it, you got some vegetables in. Some cheaper options include baked beans, pineapples, apples, bananas, sauerkraut, with the cheapest ones usually being baked beans, bananas, and apples. You could take this a step further. If you are willing to cook, there are many frozen vegetable mixes out there that you can use. For example, I often make a bolognese with a mix of onion, celery, and carrots, and additionally add some tomatoes. In one dish, that is four servings of vegetables. And this dish, for example, lends itself super well to bulk prepping. I'll leave a recipe down below in the description if you wanna check out a recipe for bolognese that takes advantage of these four vegetables. With that said, these ready-made fruits and vegetables are absolute lifesavers deep into a cut when you don't necessarily have the time or the energy to prepare your own food, but you still want to be satiated and maybe improve your overall health. Ultimately, the biggest thing with all of these food hacks is to find the ones that you enjoy, can fit within your diet and lifestyle, and just make them consistent. I know I mentioned variety as something important earlier, and that is true, but just implement what you can. Don't get carried away thinking you need to get a huge optimal variety of all of them in every day, otherwise you won't see an improvement in your health. Just having some of these in your diet consistently will be the main thing. In closing, just build sustainable habits, try some of these tips out. What do you use in order to get more fruits and vegetables in? I'd love to know. Tell me down in the comments below. If you like the video, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys, my subscribers, in that next one. Peace.